Yeah, guess what it did last night? It snowed a bit. Kind of stopped, but we might get some more. It's what I call a dusting of snow, and they canceled school. Can you believe it? Yoda Yoda Ha! Huh. Package I've been waiting for. It should have two uh, bundles of fabric for dresses that I want to make. Let's open it. Oh, I'm so disappointed. I thought it was this pattern through the whole thing and that's only on the border of it. I can't use that. Oh man, and then this other fabric. <laughs> you can see my hand through it and it won't do either. That means I have to send them back. Oh man. Well, since the fabric was shipped from a local place, probably about a 20 minute drive from here, I called them up and she said that I, you know, send it back or whatever. And I said, can I drop it off? And she goes, yeah, sure. So I did. I dropped it off. And on the way there, I stopped at Value Village. It's uh, kind of like a Goodwill. This place is kind of odd to, place to get to. But I'm kind of glad I stopped for future reference. You'll see. It was clean in there, and they had all everything organized very well. All, all colors were, all the reds were together, yellows and whites. I mean, they had it very well organized, and uh, I, they probably don't get a whole lot of people stopping there because it's such an oddball location. You have to, if you're going from one direction, you have to make go on the U-turn loop around and all that. But uh, I think the money that they make benefits the Kidney Foundation, so definitely we'll, I'll have to try to stop there again. They had some nice sheets, a lot of really nice sheets. And not just for bedding, but sheets can be used for making dresses and shirts and stuff too. Yeah. Um, you'll see. Here's what the store looked like. Look at those shoes. Platforms are at least four inches on the <laughs> This is a huge place. Value Village. Then after returning the fabric, I decided to stop at the one last place that there's to stop at around here for fabric. I've stopped at Hobby Lobby, I've done, gone to Walmart, I've been through a few different thrift stores looking for either fabric or something that I can use. Tried the online stuff, that didn't work, and Jackman's Fabric was the last place, and they have some nice things. They're higher priced. Um, and I stood there for probably 40 minutes, you know, should I or shouldn't I? This isn't really the color I was looking for. Maybe I could use it. I don't know. Will this go with my skin color? I don't know. So I sat and I sat and I thought for a long while. I've had two or three different workers come up and say, Are you okay? Can we help you? And I said, I just have to make up my mind. I decided not to buy anything because there was nothing that really spoke to me. So, oh well, that's the way it goes sometimes. So I'll put the sewing machine away now. No, I have a couple things to repair and then I'll put it away. I'm making tuna burgers for supper. And I cleaned the house today. And somebody, I don't remember who it was, somebody on YouTube here said instead of making lists of what you need to do, make a list of the things that you accomplished that day. And then when you look at it, you'll say, you'll feel better. It's like, I did this. I think that's a great idea. I think that I'll start doing that from now on you know, the I did this instead of this is what I gotta do because most of the time what I gotta do is the same from day to day and then you, you don't look forward to doing it but when you can put it on your accomplishment list I don't know your frame of mind changes, right? Yeah. Today is Friday, tomorrow is Saturday I plan on going to Speak Italian Club it's bloody cold outside 14 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 12 uh, Celsius. Really cold. And I can't find my gloves anywhere. I must have lost them. 
That's a shame. I have other gloves, but the ones I, I just like the red gloves that I was wearing. Oh, wow. Such is life. You gotta just keep rolling with it, right? Yeah, well, I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Upward and onward.